hi guys and welcome back to my channel i am your girl sally thompson once you know i'm watching something very very different very cute i can't wait to watch it it says five facts about germany you did not know and i love experiencing new culture i love knowing more about the world even though you know i cannot afford to travel there yet but that's why i have technology and books and the internet but that was since the worst time guys let's get straight into the video if you like subscribe to my channel please feel free to do so i promise you you will not regret it and exclusive content are on my patreon account and yes let's watch and enjoy germany a nexus germany. of innovation and tradition in the heart of europe is home to a tapestry of captivating secrets today Join us as we unravel 12 shocking facts that will undoubtedly broaden your understanding of this European powerhouse. From unconventional customs to astonishing technological feats, this exploration will guide you through the lesser known facets of Germany, okay. offering a fresh perspective that goes beyond the ordinary. So let's delve into the enigmatic world of Germany and discover a side you've never encountered before. Germany, officially known as the Federal Republic of Germany, is situated in the western part of Central Europe. It's the second most populous country in Europe, right after Russia, and holds oh. the title of the most populous member state of the European Union. Geographically, Germany is like a patchwork quilt, bordered by Denmark to the north, Poland and the Czech Republic to the east, Austria and Switzerland to the south, and France, Luxembourg, Belgium and the Netherlands to the west. It's like being at the crossroads of cultures, and that diversity is part of what makes Germany so fascinating. Let's rewind the clock a bit. Okay. Various Germanic tribes have called Germany home since ancient times. The region, known as Germania, dates back to before AD 100. Fast forward to 962, and we see the formation of the Kingdom of Germany, a major player in the Holy Roman Empire. The 16th century brought about a significant change, Northern German regions became the heart of the Protestant Reformation. After the Napoleonic Wars and the end of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806, the German Confederation was born in 1815, setting the stage for the formal unification of Germany. Then, on August 18, 1866, the North German Confederation Treaty was signed, laying the groundwork for the birth of the German Empire in 1871. However, the road to modern Germany wasn't without its twists and turns, including the turbulent times of World War I, yeah. the German Revolution, and the rise of the Nazi regime. Oh. After World War II, Germany found itself... Funny enough, in Nigeria, they don't really teach us about... West Germany, officially the stuff. Federal Republic of Germany, and East well, Germany, unless you're the German studying, Democratic like, Republic. History, history the Berlin itself. Wall stood as a symbolic like, division all I know, until the reunification like, on October 3rd, 1990. World War I, II, the the Nazis, and... Today, Germany stands tall as a global that guy? Hitler. With the largest economy in Europe and, from, and the like, world's third largest by nominal GDP, books. Germany is a force to be reckoned with. It's a leader in industrial, scientific, and technological sectors boasting the third greatest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. But it's not all about industry and history. Germany is a developed country that cares for its citizens. It offers social security, a universal healthcare system, and even tuition-free university education. Oh, that's great! No wonder it's a member of prestigious international organizations that's like the great. United Nations, European Union, NATO, and more. Number one, the legal drinking age is 60. <laughs> We all know that different countries have different rules yeah. when it comes to alcohol, but Germany takes things to a whole new level. Wow, In Germany, 16. you can start sipping on undistilled alcoholic beverages, like wine and beer when you're just 16 years old. That's a five-year gap compared to the United States. Mm, I bet 21. some of you are already raising an eyebrow. So, what's no, I'm the deal? Not. <laughs> well, the German law allows teenagers, starting from the age of 16, to enjoy the lighter side of alcohol. You know, the good old wine and beer without needing their parents by their side. It's like a rite of passage into the world honestly, of responsible drinking. Does not when it comes good. to distilled spirits, Crosses the game changes. Bitter. Germans, young and eager, still have to exercise patience and wait until they hit the big one that's 18 for those keeping track at home. So, while you can <laughs> enjoy that frothy beer at 16, the stronger stuff will have to wait until you're officially an adult. It's like a boozy countdown to freedom. Wow. Number two. 1,000 different types of sausages. When you think of Germany, 1, the first thing that probably comes to mind is their delicious sausages. Oh, but did you know, know that. that the variety is so vast? 
that it surpasses the imagination over 1,000 different types of sausages. Each one is a unique flavor experience oh, wow. waiting to be explored. Ooh, Let's start with the heavy hitters, the sausages that have made a name for themselves on the global stage. We've got the classics like Bratwurst, Weisswurst, Frankfurter, Knackwurst, and Teewurst. These aren't just <clears throat> names, any. <laughs> they are a journey into a world of savory delights. Wow. Each variety has its own distinct characteristics, and the secret lies in the blend of spices used to flavor them. Here's a pro tip for anyone planning to visit Germany. Okay. Don't just stop at the classics. Explore the local markets, butcher shops, and street vendors to discover regional specialties. From Nuremberger Rostbratwurst to Currywurst, the options are endless. Trust me, wow. your taste buds will thank you for the culinary adventure. Number three, highest smartphone usage in the world. According to a 2020 analysis by Newzu, Germany stands out as the leader when it comes to smartphone adoption. Wow. Out of the 83.9 million people in the country, a whopping 67.14 million are smartphone users, giving Germany an impressive smartphone penetration rate of 80%. Just to put that into perspective, let's compare it to other major players in the smartphone game. The United States boasts a smartphone penetration rate of 72.1%. And over in China, it's 59.9%. Mm, Germany is outpacing them both, making it a true mobile first nation. Oh. So what's driving this smartphone revolution in Germany? Well, it turns out that most locals are tapping into the digital world through popular carriers like Telecom, Vodafone, or O2. These giants dominate the German mobile landscape, providing reliable services to millions. Number four, numerous unexploded bombs in Germany. World War II had a profound impact on many countries, and Germany was no exception. Even decades after the war, remnants still exploded. pose a threat. And one surprising fact is that wow. more than 2,000 tons of unexploded bombs are discovered in Germany each year. What? That's like having a ticking time bomb beneath your feet. Yes! So, why are these unexploded bombs still causing a buzz in Germany? Well, it turns out that before any construction project kicks off, whether it's a new building or a road, experts have to play bomb detectives. Wow. Before a single shovel hits the ground, experts meticulously scan the area, making crazy. sure it's bomb free. Imagine having to check every inch of land before building a house. Yeah. It's like playing real life minesweeper. The German government takes this matter seriously. They Isn't that they didn't keep track of where, like, for bomb disposal. Where did These experts work tirelessly the to neutralize the threats and keep the public safe. It's a challenging job, but someone's got to do it. Number five, prison escape is not illegal in the country. Wait, what? You might have heard of some unusual laws around the world, what? but Germany takes it to a whole <laughs> new level. Picture this. What That's if I told crazy. you that in Germany, Escaping from prison is not actually illegal. Well, if you can, that's what I'm going to say. They make it so strong when it comes to prison breaks. That if you Unlike can, they're like, you deserve it. If you're able to. Extra charges just for trying to make a run for it. Why on earth would they allow something like that? Well, it's all rooted in a rather fascinating philosophy. In Germany, the powers that be consider the desire for freedom and escape to be a basic human instinct. So when someone tries to break free, they aren't automatically hit with charges for attempting an escape. Number six, tallest church in the world. Ooh. Meet the Ulminster, standing proud at a staggering 161.5 meters or 530 feet tall. That's right, folks, 530 feet of architectural brilliance. This masterpiece was intentionally designed to surpass the Cologne Cathedral, which itself is no slouch at 157.4 meters or 516.4 feet. Why build it so tall, you ask? It turns out that this was a bit of friendly competition. <laughs> the folks behind the Ulm Minster wanted to outdo the Cologne Cathedral by a couple of meters. It's like a historic game of architectural one-upmanship. Imagine the dedication and skill it took to achieve such heights back in the day. Yeah. But it's not just about the height. The Ulm Minster is a marvel of Gothic architecture. As you step inside, you're greeted by awe-inspiring stained glass windows intricate sculptures, and a sense of grandeur that truly stands the test of time. It's not just a church, it's a living testament to the craftsmanship of its builders. Number seven, Germany is home to 25,000 castles. I love castles! If you're someone who loves the allure of towering turrets, yes! ancient walls, and the echoes of history, really, Germany really, really is your really dream destination. 
Our castle journey begins in the Thuringian Forest, a region that offers a unique twist to your castle hunting adventure. But what sets Germany apart is the famous Wartburg Castle in Eisenach. Not only is it one of the most renowned castles in the country, but it also holds a special place in history. It's where Martin Luther translated the New Testament into German for the first time. Talk about a castle with a story to tell. The Swabian Alb in southwest Germany, a region where nature and history collide. The landscape is adorned with spectacular This looks like that place in Cruella. Straight out of a fairy tale. That's her mom's house. The crown jewel of castle spotting has to be the Middle Rhine Valley in the west of Germany. Because within a mere 60 kilometers between Bingen and Koblenz, you'll find an incredible stretch of 40 well-preserved castles. Wow. It's like a castle paradise. The Upper Middle Rhine Valley achieved UNESCO World Heritage status in June 2002, becoming the first German cultural landscape to receive this prestigious honor. Now, you might be wondering, how do we know there are 25,000 castles in Germany? Yes. Well, it's we a bit counted. tricky since there are no <laughs> official statistics on this. But based on estimates, that's the jaw-dropping number we're looking at. So, wow. you can imagine the sheer variety and history waiting to be explored. Number 8. Largest car producing countries ah, in the world. I believe that. I when believe it comes that. to cars, Germany is an absolute heavyweight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just think about it. Um, Audi, BMW, yeah. Mercedes-Benz, yeah. and Volkswagen. That one is no These names are practically synonymous with precision engineering and automotive excellence. But did you know that these German manufacturers collectively churn out over 11 million cars every single year? What makes million. it even more impressive is that and a whopping 6 one. million of those cars <laughs> are actually produced right here in Germany itself. That's yes, so you heard that right. <laughs> Germany is a car production powerhouse, cranking out millions of vehicles with the precision and efficiency that they're so renowned for. German cars are not just about oh. speed and sleek designs, they're also about trust. The reliability and robust Audi. construction of German cars are downright Volkswagen. notorious, and it's this Wagon. reputation that makes BMW. them a favorite among drivers worldwide. You've probably I've heard the saying, Germans don't play when it comes to cars. And it's true. German oh. car manufacturers are at the forefront that of technological advancements, from electric vehicles to autonomous driving. They're not just keeping up with the times, they're setting the pace. Oh. And this commitment to staying ahead of the curve is a big reason why they so consistently beautiful. produce some of the most sought-after cars so globally. Pretty. Number 9. A highway system with no speed limits. Picture what? this. The open road stretching out before you, the wind tousling your hair, yes. and the freedom to hit the accelerator without any speed limits holding you back. Now, yeah, if well, that sounds like a dream come true, well. Germany's Autobahn is the place to be. Do we? You see approximately 65% of Germany's highways make up the famous Autobahn system. Maybe we it's a do, but I don't think roads. anyone has ever been but also known for its unique for features. I would even catch the absence you of general <laughs> speed restrictions. Now don't get too carried away with the idea of pushing your pedal to the metal indefinitely. Contrary to the popular belief that the Autobahn is a speed demon's paradise, excessive and dangerous speeds can indeed get you into trouble. Death. The German authorities take safety seriously. And they're not shy about pulling over those who choose to treat the Autobahn like a racetrack. Despite what some might believe, not every stretch of the Autobahn is without speed limits. Construction zones, urban areas, and other specific sections do have speed restrictions in place. So it's not a free-for-all everywhere, but when you hit those unrestricted zones, it's an experience like no other. Number 10. A land of inventions. We all know Germany for its rich history, stunning landscapes, and of course, its sausages. But did you know that this European powerhouse has been the birthplace of some game-changing inventions that have shaped our modern world? Okay. Let's take a look at a few mind-blowing creations that originated right here in Germany. First up on our list are x-rays. The ability to peek inside Ooh. our bodies without invasive procedures was revolutionized by German physicist Wilhelm Röntgen in 1895. Next, we have diesel engines. Ever wondered what powers those mighty machines, ships, and even some cars? Yeah. Thank Rudolf Diesel, a German inventor, for introducing the world to these efficient and powerful I'm not engines. surprised by that, to be honest. Zooming in, I know the Germans have let's talk about very, electron very microscopes. The ability to see objects at the tiniest scale was made possible by German engineers Ernst Ruska in the and world <laughs> in the 1930s. 
Their invention opened up a whole new world of understanding the microcosmos, yeah. and it's still a crucial tool in scientific research today. Who doesn't love their favorite tunes? Well, you can Tell thank me, German engineers headphones. for the MP3 format. Ah. Karl Heinz Brandenburg and his team developed the technology that revolutionized the music industry, allowing us to carry thousands of songs in our pockets. Oh. The magnetic tape recorder, a cornerstone in audio recording technology, was brought to life by German engineer Fritz Pfleumer. From music to voice recordings, Germany played a significant role in shaping how we capture and replay sounds. Number 11, free education for all. Education um. can be a hefty investment, but not in Germany. In this country, not only do locals enjoy tuition-free education, That's but international amazing. students are also welcomed with open arms and wallets. Germany's commitment wow. to accessible education is deeply rooted in its culture. That's amazing. Public but I think like you need to know Germany how to speak. Receive um, significant funding from the government, allowing German. them to offer tuition-free education. This means students can focus on learning without the burden of crushing student loans. Oh. Number 12. Beer is sacred in the state of Bavaria. You may have heard that Germans love their beer, but in Bavaria, it takes on a whole new level of significance. Believe it or not, beer is not just a drink here. It's considered a food. Imagine telling your doctor, I'm just having a hearty meal of beer tonight. What? In Bavaria, beer is so ingrained in the culture that it seeps into every aspect of life. It's not just for the weekends or special occasions. Wow. It's a daily companion. Wow. On average, an impressive 150 liters of beer are consumed per person annually in Bavaria. Wow. That's like swimming in a pool of golden goodness. And here's it a fun is? fact for you. <laughs> About half of Germany's breweries are nestled right here in this charming region. And let's not forget about Oktoberfest, the world's largest Volksfest, beer festival. It's an explosion of beer, pretzels, and traditional Bavarian music, attracting millions of visitors from around the globe. Wow. This commitment to quality has made Bavaria synonymous with exceptional beer worldwide. Hmm. So next time you're sipping on a Bavarian brew, remember, you're not just having a drink, you're partaking in a centuries old tradition. Mm. And there you have it, folks. The surprising and delightful fact that in the state of Bavaria, beer is truly sacred. Wow. If you enjoyed learning about this unique aspect of no, German culture, don't it. forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more intriguing facts, and as they say in Bavaria, Prost! Until next time, cheers! Wow, that was fun facts, fun facts, fun facts. Interesting. The beer, I will see. Oh. Tasted beer once, doesn't smell right to my nose. And it's, it doesn't taste right. <laughs> I'm not a beer person, you know. Wine, yes. Give me wine, give me whiskey, give me brandy pop. Beer, uh uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But guys, that was really, really fun. One day, I would really, really love to visit Germany. Actually, my dream is to go on a food tour globally. Like, I want to go experience new food because I, I believe, like, a very, very um, intricate parts of people's culture is through their food so i like to experience people's culture through food someday i'll be able to achieve it amen amen all right you guys if you're on this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and keep post if you're not so that i can find whenever i upload and i'll see you guys next time with another video